Hi, my name is Andrew Plank. I'm going to be talking to you about uh, an extension I've created for Typo 3 called Simple Slideshow 2, which is uh, a banner rotator more than anything. Uh, the name possibly is a bit misleading. It, you know, it's equally capable of uh, performing as a slideshow, um, but that's not its uh, not what it's intended for. Um, you can see it here. Uh, the idea is it's uh, like a, a banner rotator. Um, at the minute, it doesn't, it's non-clickable, um, so you can't actually have any click functionality. Um, but I will be releasing an extension for Simple Slideshow 2 in the near future that enables this uh, capability. Okay, so another slideshow. What's so good about this one? Um, it's dynamic. Um, if we uh, look at this folder, which is where these images are served from, at the minute the, the plugin is configured to, to rotate them alphabetically. So you can see here the next one's going to be a bunch of tulips, and then a bunch of orange, these chrysanthemums. Yeah. Um, and you can see this is just going through these. If I if I delete chrysanthemum desert and go over here and then reload the page, then it'll only show these these six. Um, notice I didn't go into the back end or delete any records or anything. Um, if I now copy these two back again and go back to the front end and reload um, yeah there you can see it's automatically taken those directly from the file system I didn't have to create any records or anything um, so from a user's point of view an end user who uh, is responsible for content on in a type of 3 site and a type of 3 administrator it's a very simple system um, I could even from here uh, I could delete the chrysanthemum delete desert and reload and so you can see there it's working in the back end go to file list slideshow upload select files temp open uploaded go here refresh and there we go so it doesn't matter which method you use you could use FTP as well um, as long as the images are in the folder uh, configured in the plugin then they are they are available to be displayed. There's various different modes that, that can be used, um, but if they're in there, they'll be displayed. As simple as that. Okay, so now let's take a look in the back end. Okay, so the back end. It's as easy as adding a plugin to the page, create new element, and find simple slideshow two in the plugins list. Give it a name. I'm just doing this to be consistent with my documentation. And go to the plugin tab, click the browse for records icon, and navigate to a folder you want to show your images from. Uh, we'll leave it on the default effect for now. There is another one. I'll come back to that. Uh, I know the width needs to be 700. We save, which then loads the other tab for the default effect. Um, yeah, we'll leave it on alphabetic. Uh, duration for each image, 5 seconds. Duration for transition, 1 second. Uh, save and close. <coughs> Go back to the front end, reload. Yeah, simple as that. We got our slideshow. Um, if we go in and edit, this and for example choose random 
save, hit the front end, reload, then we'll get a random image. Um, so rather than it going through alphabetically, um, they'll do them out of sequence and randomly. So it is possible for there to be two in a row uh, that are the same, or like for example, image A, image B, image A, image B, um, rather than <coughs> image A, B, C, D, or whatever. You see what I mean? Um, there's also a shuffle mode, which is where uh, rather than it being random, it shuffles the existing images and repeats through them in the same pattern. And then there's reverse alphabetic. Um, it's also extendable, so the, I've, I've, the plan is for me to make a few different extensions. And in the doc documentation, it's also released the API on how to create your own extensions for Simple Slideshow 2. This is this, a simple st random static image uh, extension. You can see when I when I change the effect, uh, it adds a new uh, FlexForm tab here. Um, only one option in this, fade in delay, if we save that, hit the front end, reload, then it, it'll it just pick one of those images and display it with a, with a nice fade in. And each time we reload, you imagine this is on a multi-page site and it's the same, the same element being shown on all the pages, um, it'll just, each time a user visits a page it will pick a random element to display um, or sorry a random image to display what else is there to know about this extension um, one thing you must do is include the default setup st uh, static template from the extension um, it sets up a bunch of stuff that's required in TypoScript. If you don't have that there, then it, the extension won't work. Um, and in Extension Manager, in the settings for the extension, uh, there's a list of allowed file extensions. There are pipe separated. Um, so it will only take images with these extensions from the folder. All others will be ignored. Um, and a configuration PID. Um, the the extension runs or gets its, its uh, image list and configuration from a cache file which is generated by a call to a specific page with a specific type num which is configured by the TypeScript. Um, and this is the the ID of the page that gets called. If you include your the, the static template in your root template, then it doesn't matter which ID you use. But if you if you include it on a specific page, then you'll need to modify this configuration PID accordingly. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Then you get an, an extension. Uh, a slideshow extension that's exceptionally easy for your content editors to to update. They just need to upload an image by whatever means. Uh, that in the, the image isn't resized in any way. There's no image manipulation. Um, you might notice that these image. It seems that there's rounded corners, but that's a, a feature of of the slideshow. It's possible to specify a mask file. Um, that gets uh, uh, like cut into quarters, and each quarter is moved to the to the corners of the flash file, and turned into a mask. Um, so using this method, it, it enables you to uh, create nice rounded corners, uh, the same rounded corners, without the the uh, content editors needing to somehow put those into the images they upload. It's all, to, all automatic. Um, you can see these images here, there's, there's no rounded corners on them. Um, it's also possible to set a mask file um, using TypoScript. 
then the the mask file overrides the the corners mask and uh, yeah there's a bunch of cool features uh, it's extendable uh, the documentation for Simple Slideshow 2 details exactly how to create an extension for Simple Slideshow 2 including code examples and all everything you need to create your own extensions you, you need to be fairly proficient at AS3 and know a, know a bit about Type 3 extension development and uh, yeah so I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed <laughs> my extension and I hope you'll use it and uh, maybe even rate it on typo3.org um, that's great, thanks, bye